going to do a TV series. But then we had Nickelodeon come to us and... Yeah, they asked us to do a TV series and that's when we kind of started thinking about it. So... Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get, get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. channel. Cass decided that she would kind of take the reins since she'd already had a channel before. She knew how to film. She was going to do mostly what? Everything. Challenges, filming, editing. Yeah, like all of that jazz. So we started. It was awesome. We loved it. Kids loved it. Took off. Took off. Did awesome. So the first thing that I did was a morning routine with 16 kids. Would you guys remember that? Yeah. It was crazy, but it showed our real life. And then a ton of people started saying, I want to know more about like logistics of your family, like how that works, what that looks like, that whole thing. And so that was our first like real viral video, you know, got millions the first month. And so we kind of took that as like a sign that we need to start doing more vlogs and show them what it's like, what it's really like. Family. <laughs> and so anyway, we've just been doing it ever since. And we have been approached so many times about doing a TV series. And so the first few, I was like, no way. I mean, what are some of the cons about doing a TV series? It's fun. Like you're a live show. Con. Oh, con means bad? <laughs> Cons are like, we don't get to edit out what we want to edit out. Yeah, it's like if something bad happens, you can't really like change that. It's just like a live. So if someone yeah. doesn't want like something embarrassing showing, we don't have control over it. Yeah, that was the big thing is I thought a lot of our kids have like, you know, we're just going through those hard years and teenage years and even little kids will have like a meltdown for a minute. And I just didn't really want that to be on camera. Like all of our videos, pretty much we run by all of the kids know what's in it. It, or even while we're filming, if they're like, don't put that in, I don't put it in because we just want to make sure that everyone feels like respected and loved and like, you know, just their like best selves like forward. Fun to do YouTube videos. Yeah, like it's fun. And if you know that, like, you know, if you're really having a bad day and someone's going to film it and put that on there for everyone to see, then it would not be as fun. Yeah. You, know? you don't feel as protected. And we don't want to invade anyone's privacy. That's another big thing is we just wanted to make sure that everyone feels like just like their private safe. things or their, yeah, like safe. Like their private things or their really like heart memory things aren't just kind of like out there. So we're kind of careful about what we talk about, what we say. We do say a lot of tender things to our heart, but I talk with all of the kids before we do. And so they're comfortable with what we say or talk about versus like a TV show, I don't know. They probably wouldn't really care as much. So that was our initial fear. But then we had Nickelodeon come to us, and do you remember what happened with that? Yeah, they asked us to do a TV series, and that's when we kind of started thinking about it. They wanted it to be more like a family-centered content. Um, they wanted to show kind of basically what we do here on YouTube, right? That's like kind yeah. of what they wanted us to do. It was very similar. It would be awesome because we would get a lot more people to like know about our family, which is super fun. And you know, it was just been a cool experience. So we were kind of nervous, but we were kind of wanted to maybe see, look more into it, see if we wanted to do it. Um, and we asked all the kids and that was, Pretty crazy, I don't know. Yeah, like half of them were like stoked, like yes! And Nickelodeon is fun. That's like totally more like centered around kids. We grew up watching Nickelodeon and yeah. Disney. Well, I don't know about them, but mine's never We grew up watching Nickelodeon and like Disney channels. So that was yeah. like so cool For to sure. get that offer. And they kept guaranteeing me like, we promise we're not trying to be like, show the catty side of your family. We're not trying to show like drama. drama. It's more like happy. Anyway, so we really entertained that offer a lot. But as time went on and we just learned more and more, we were like, you know what? I don't know, it just didn't feel right. Yeah. It just didn't feel like, I don't know, it just didn't feel like it was us. There was some like also logistics and stuff that we would have to do some more traveling. And my kids, we all go to public school. I want them to have like that experience of like being in dance and being in cheer and being in basketball and soccer and all those fun <laughs> things. And all of a sudden it would kind of limit it would. that a little bit. So we held out and we kind of just kept waiting until maybe we found something that was a better fit. 
So, I remember when we had like a big interview with our whole family. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Nickelodeon. Yeah. We had like the Nickelodeon team. Yeah, that was kind of nerve wracking because it was like live and we were like, oh, we're going to be just so like, kids. Oh, yeah, we were angels. just like, yeah. <laughs> they're all so well behaved. Yeah, no, they, they actually were really well behaved. I think I have some footage of that, but they did a really good job, but it just, it just didn't work out. Yeah. yeah. It's all right in the time. So then going forward a little bit, we were um, about ready. Well, yeah, we're about ready to hit a million subscribers. Things were going awesome. We started doing challenges on NanFam, and Cass's channel started blowing up, and Kennedy started her channel, and so we had a lot going on. We had a lot going on. This is about like 2021, early 2021. So we were approached by another company, and we've been approached by like probably 10 or 15 companies to be honest. But there's something about this company that I really like. I loved what he liked about our videos. He talked about the videos like he'd actually watched like a ton of them. Yeah. And he just seemed really great. And so we kind of interviewed with him and interviewed him. Yeah. <laughs> this representative, just to kind of see how he felt. This group was more for TLC, it's a different network. Yeah. And he like, yeah, he had you guys do lines. He like gave us lines that we had to like memorize and then like say to the camera. I think they were wanting to see like how good our acting skills were. <laughs> And like um, just how much uh, charisma on camera and stuff like that. There was a couple different ideas there. There yeah, was, that was fun. one idea that they would actually do like a series about our family, but wouldn't necessarily be our family. Like it would more like be a series based on our family. So like he just thought it was so hilarious that we had to buy a bus to like get it. Which that is kind of funny. <laughs> it's normal. Yeah, that I think of that. Yeah. <laughs> so he was like, you know, what if I just family like they had to buy a bus and like they just all these funny things like you know just laundry up to here and just like the funny moments that Grocery we have in our shopping. life. Grocery you shopping. Know? Yeah. So just many things. All of the craziness that we have that we just like you know, yeah. Crazy, but they didn't think it was normal evidently. So if they did that they were gonna cast some of the kids with the other actors if that makes sense. And so it would be like about our family but only a few of the actual kids would kids be in it. Kids yeah. would be in yeah. it. Yeah. Those that actually really enjoy being on camera and stuff like that. So we, we kind of played with that. So that was one option and then there was another option that would be more like just basically our lives and our vlogs and you know kind of what we do. So then after all of these interviews, they kind of did a pitch, it's called a pitch, for TLC and so they showed them this. I've known I would adopt since I was 12 years old. I just knew that this would be my mission in life. When I met my wife, she asked me questions about would I be willing to adopt. We had four kids. As time went on, we just moved into this new house, and all of a sudden, Cassie just got so sad. And I said, what's the matter? And she said, well, you know all those little kids out there that don't have a home and don't have a mom and dad? Why can't we adopt them? And I looked at Benji, and I was like, it's time. It is the greatest but most exhausting decision we've ever made. We have nine adopted and seven biological kiddos. Josh, Mary Cassidy. Here we go. When you've got this many kids, we spend 966. It's like managing three full-time jobs. And that's besides our normal paying job. I run a daycare and Benji's a contractor and builder, but he's also a soccer coach for our local high school. It's a roller coaster. But the hardest part by far is keeping 17 kids entertained. 
and then it happened. One day I decided to start recording our family and then I just posted it on YouTube. Then it just started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And suddenly it is taken over our life. We are transforming Lily's room. Are you smarter? Get a fourth or fifth grader? We built secret caves. Christmas home makeovers, Halloween candy eating competition. Before we knew it, we were getting half a million views a day. So then we had to think bigger and better than ever before. <laughs> you know, when parenthood is your life, we are doing a movie night tonight. You do whatever you have to do to stay sane. Yeah! And for every moment that I just feel like it's too much to handle, there are 17 reasons to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> we're probably complete. We're probably complete. 90, 99% sure we're complete. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, so that was so exciting and so fun. Like it was, anyway. It a was trailer cool. about our family. I don't know. It was like super cool. It was, it was really, really, really cool. And so anyway, as time went on and they were, we were just kind of doing this process, it just kind of life got busy and life got crazy. And it came time that we needed to just make a decision. Like, yeah. do we want to do this? And again, logistically, I was like, do you guys really want to like be in a show yeah. where you're an actress? I feel like, I don't know, right now, we have like kind of the best of both worlds where we have like our lives, yeah. um, but we also have like our YouTube life, which is so fun, and yeah. like our fans, and like all the things, like it's just, it's really fun. I feel we have both, and doing a show, I feel like we kind of lose our real life, if yeah. that makes sense, like more of our- I feel like more people would like try to do with us, and if they say yes, like that would kind of be our thinking. Like, I don't know, maybe, I just feel like it didn't feel like right at the time, but like you never know in the future, but just like right now with all the kids growing up, like, you know, yeah. I don't know, it's just. Yeah, I just felt like for sure, like the actors and actresses, then I started thinking like, well, some of the kids might feel bad, but like someone else is playing their role, and yeah. you know. So they that, don't want them to play themselves, it's like, yeah, I don't that, know. That would feel weird, and then the other one where. I'd be offended. Yeah, the um, other one where they were just gonna be doing like vlogging our lives, I was like, well, why would we do that? We're able to be in control with exactly what we do, like I said before, or like the kids can take off what they don't like. Like yeah, we can keep it as private as we want, but put out only what we want. And so it just gave us way more control. Yeah. So we just kind of all talked about it as a family. And we're like, you know what? It's a no. We are not going to do a TV series as of right now. <laughs> There's still inquiries all the time. Like so I literally get them like at least once a month or twice a month. We get an inquiry if we would like to do a TV show in some way, shape, or form. And so far, nothing has felt right. So. The answer to are you gonna do a TV series is no. no. <laughs> Not right now. Not right now. No. But one fun thing is we do have a Roku channel. So if you guys own a Roku TV, you can look up add a channel and add Not Enough Nelson's channel. And so we're gonna start adding some really fun videos to that. Right now it just has kind of like our past catalog, yeah. but we'll start adding some more fun things to that. So that'll be good. And that's kind of like we have a channel, right? We have a yeah. 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 And you never know what the future holds. No. We never know what opportunities we could get. Maybe that feel more right. Yeah. But yeah, it's been awesome because we already have so many like supporters, like you guys, our fans, our like people who watch us. We love you guys, and we're so grateful for your support. So like, we already have so many people watching our channel, and we get it like it just just feels more right right now, you know? It totally does, and it might always feel right, or we might want to switch things up in a little way. Yeah. Who knows? But we love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for your support for the past three years. It's been amazing. It's been so fun to catalog our crazy busy lives and know that we have viewers out there who love us. You guys give us the sweetest comments and we just, we really like yeah. feel your love when you give us those comments. Yeah, it's just like so fun to like meet you guys. Like when yeah. We're places, when we're out and about and you guys come up, we love it. So anyway, thank you for being amazing, fans. We love you all.